What's up guys and welcome to Isle News. Now we got a bunch of juicy stuff today and a lot of news to cover. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First up, uh, not really newsworthy except for just maybe me and people that are interested in the lore. But apparently 99% of my, my lore video based on Primal Carnage is wrong. Now everything that doesn't have anything to do with Primal Carnage is most likely right because he didn't say anything about that. But since Isle and Primal Carnage separated almost a year ago... Yeah, it's 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 moving in a different direction now, which is I guess good, but it also leaves more mysteries. We don't really know what to expect. Next up is we got a brand new night vision system. Now the way the old night vision system works, obviously, is it brightens everything up. It basically adds a lot of brightness to the scene, and uh, yeah, it's you can basically see better at night than you can during the day without night vision on. So. And the way this new system is going to work is basically it's more like night vision or at least pretty close to night vision. Um, you're going to see your immediate surrounding. It's, it's all going to be contrasty and, and very gray tone-ish. And uh, you're only going to see creatures and or things that are in your direct sort of vision. Uh, anything on the outskirts is all going to kind of be silhouetted in black. You can also see the creature's eyes sort of glow, so that might be an indicator uh, whenever we're playing that you're going to see, you're, you're going to know when there's a creature nearby. Now, this is good because it allows you to see pretty well in your media surrounding, and also doesn't allow you to see, like, people take advantage of night vision. They use it in, like, twilight zones, in darkness, and all that kind of stuff to be able to see everything. You can see more clearly in bushes, and all that kind of stuff. With this sort of gray tone, slash, uh, you know, all the surrounding being pitched in darkness, you know, you can't really see anything, so people can't really get a tactical edge. Anyways, new night vision system coming. Uh, it seems really, really sweet so far. So, we're getting some new animations and stuff like that, but I want to mention the tar pit here. Now, this was shown yesterday on stream. So, I guess future tar pits are coming to the aisle. This actually looks really cool. You see, like, the sludginess as uh, the dialer here walks through. You can also see there's fly sounds. It looks very mucky and gross, you know what I mean? And it's very, it's very tar-like. It looks really cool. So, eventually, tar is going to be maps, which is awesome. And also, water has had some updates, too, that I've noticed. I don't know how new this is but water has like little sloshingness like when people are swimming through it so I'm guessing they're kind of like changing liquids and adding liquids and that kind of stuff now right here we've been talking a lot about terrain alignment but uh, I haven't really shown in-game footage that much we've seen the test level but we haven't seen how this is actually gonna act so yeah this is some footage of the Rex actually moving up and down hills on Donnie's little private island so yeah this is gonna be kind of like the terrain alignment in motion which is really really cool you can see he kind of bends up and down towards the train now one thing I want to talk about that hasn't been mentioned much is the new combat update we don't know when we're getting this update but it's gonna be pretty sick basically the basic premise of the update is gonna be each creature has its own sort of unique ability that they can bring into a fight uh, as far as the combat mechanics in general I think they're gonna mostly be staying the same but they're gonna be updating each dino so it has its own unique I guess perk or ability that it can bring to a fight to actually truly make each dino kind of separate and unique in the aisle so if you want to play a certain creature you're playing it for a certain reason at least as far as fighting is concerned now, I got this information from one of the Isle devs. We don't really know much about it yet, uh, but I'm really excited about the future and what this is actually going to bring to the Isle. Also, they do want to do, I guess, death animations. So death animations might be coming in, this, uh, in the far future or close future. I'm not really sure. Definitely collision is coming at some point in the future. So collision is going to change combat and all that kind of stuff greatly. And I'm assuming with collision, we're probably going to get more of knockback hits and maybe even trample damage. We do know that hypos are going to eventually be able to trample trees and stuff like that. Weight mass is probably going to take more into account. And I know some people were talking about the Utah and they want the Utah whenever it latches onto stuff. Depending on the creature's size, it actually weighs it down and slows it down more. So if you get a pack of Utahs that are like pouncing on a, a Parasaur, that Parasaur is basically doomed. You get two or three on that Parasaur and he's going to be dragged down to the ground. He's not going to be able to move or fight back. He might be able to fight back creatures that are in front of him, but he's not going to be able to do anything about the creatures on top of him. I have a feeling whenever Utah actually comes out, it's going to be pretty overpowered and they're going to have to implement some sort of abilities or changes because, you know, I don't know if they're, they might do some sort of thing where if you shake more or maybe if you try to move around more, they have a chance to, because the Utah's pounce is going to be based on stamina, right? So maybe that'll use more stamina or whatever. Uh, but yeah, the Utah is probably going to be pretty OP whenever it first comes out. Now, another bit of news, I can't really show footage of this uh, or at least anything that I've talked about so far. 
but they also want to do limb loss of some type some sort of gibbing and maybe I guess locational damage now this is far future a lot of the stuff is kind of future updates that's gonna come we haven't really heard much about it and they don't have the systems in place yet but yeah, some sort of location damage, so if you bite them in a certain location, it might do less bleed, or it might do more damage, it might be considered maybe like a critical hit. You know, I'm, I just threw the word critical hit in there, I don't know if they're doing anything like that. But you know, it makes sense. If you bite something in the neck, they're going to have a lot more blood loss, it's probably going to do a lot more damage. And if you like, if you're a big creature like a T-Rex and you bite like a Parasaur's leg, you might actually rip that Parasaur's leg off, and they want to do some sort of um, gibbing system like that, you know what I mean? Now, once the creature's leg gets torn off, they're not really going to be able to move, so I'm not going to, like, not realistically anyways, so I don't know if they're going to add any sort of animations or some kind of dynamic system to where they move only on three legs or they have to drag part of their body or torso around. I don't really know. Very interesting updates, though. Okay, so I think the last bit of news for today that I can think of right now is confirm creatures coming to survival now i don't know if this is the final list but these are the creatures that they're actually planning on adding to survival now on the herbivore side we have the dryo we have the maya and we have the pachycephalosaurus on the carnivore side we have the serato we have the dilophosaurus and we have the aloe now a lot of these creatures are getting i guess model updates and also animation updates as well so you can expect that soon but apparently the aloe is getting a full remodel so it's going to actually have a full remodel which is pretty cool go ahead and show the clip where donny talks about it right here um we're adding in i guess this is a confirmation for chat we're adding in dryosaurus we're adding in the myasaura and we're going to add in um pachycephalosaurus once he gets his remodel okay and then uh, for the carnivores, I think we're doing Ceratosaurus and Dilophosaurus and Allosaurus after he gets his remodel. Oh yeah, as for the last bit of news that I can think of right now, a lot of you guys probably know this, but Region 3, V3, is actually in-game. It has It's on Dev 4 right now. It has a 200-player pop, and uh, several other Region 3 things are coming up. Now, I don't think this is the fully updated Region 3. I think it's changed from what it used to be before. And, of course, it's probably going to change in the future as they update it. And I'm really excited to play on it. Dev 4 has been completely packed right now, and it has over 200 players on it. Or not over 200, but it's maxed out basically 24-7 with 200 players, which... Is really good region 3 is nice hopefully you guys are excited about that i know you guys uh, a lot of people said something in my last video oh yeah a couple things i actually forgot to mention is that the trike actually has full body threat and animations now brand new ones so let's go ahead and press three. Oh baby it's so good yeah so this is the brand new animation for the trike for threat and like i said more will probably be coming soon this guy is a beast look at that that is sick Let's go ahead and check out another one. Do trikes? Do trikes have updated sounds? Now, this is from an update from yesterday, so they're probably going to be doing more updates today. Some of this seems new, but I don't play trike that often. The only one that I can really confirm is three. You guys can tell me down below if any of the other ones are new or if the sounds are new themselves. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Now, the next thing we're going to check out is apparently the Utah has some new sit animations. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so new sit animations for Utah. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, so that's brand new. Nothing super huge, but uh, like I said before, I've mentioned like every video, they are updating everything, which is pretty sweet. Anyways, guys, that's basically everything for the news today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to smash the like button. I love your faces. And I'll see you guys in the next owl news if you guys have any suggestions or comments down below let me know what do you think about the combat update how they should do it what sort of dinos might have what sort of abilities i don't know now one thing i'm a little sad about is uh there was no mention of the anki or the stego but i think the stego is coming and hopefully the anki does come and um hopefully i mean obviously the the dino sukus is going to be in there and the quets will be eventually but yeah those are the upcoming creatures that are confirmed right now but yeah tell me what you think and i'll see you guys in the next one